Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you, Gauri. Thank you, Amar. Thank you, Vishnu. And thank you to the entire family of Capital Land uh, for showing up. Uh, it's a beautiful building. F firstly, compliments. I think uh, redevelopment is not easy. And I was just talking to Mano and asking him how much money has he invested in Hyderabad so far? Because that, that's my job, you know, finding out, uh, you know, where his checkbook is and making sure that I get another check drawn out. So he said, my board is sitting right in front of me. So he said, I can't say it openly. And uh, he basically whispered in my ear, saying that uh, he's invested about $1.5 billion USD uh, in Hyderabad. Thank you so much. I think that deserves a big round of applause. And what's even more heartening is he told me that um, another 40% of that, about $600 million, would it also is coming your way in the next foreseeable future. So, you know, it's, it's just a, a testimony to what this city has in terms of a promising future. A day before yesterday, in fact, um, we had a group of 250 builders and construction companies from Maharashtra who we hosted here in Hyderabad. And um, one of the things that um, one of the leading builders from Maharashtra told me was, they went around Hyderabad for three days. And then uh, he comes to me and he says, so what is happening in Hyderabad essentially is, what is being built here essentially is India's own version of Singapore. And I was so delighted because Singapore is a country that I look up to. Singapore is certainly a country that we all look up to. Singapore, Japan, these are the nations that have done tremendously well in our own, you know, uh, continent, Asia. And these are the countries we have so much to learn from. I have to confess, uh, Mano, that uh, while we were formulating our industrial policy in Telangana, we have looked at EDB, we have studied all the things that uh, you guys have done in Singapore and have copied many aspects of it. We did not pay you for that, sorry about that. But we copied many aspects. Life is all about learning. Learning good things, picking up, imbibing the best elements of... And you also know that wise people learn from others' experience. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, you don't have to start from the scratch. So, have picked up quite a few things and uh, as Gauri said, I think uh, Capital Land has been vested in Hyderabad for a very long time. And I also believe that they will continue to remain vested for the long term. The data center is coming up rather well, is what I was told. Buildings are looking swanky and I'm sure uh, you're going to add many more buildings to the skyline here. We also discussed a couple of other opportunities. Mano was surprised when I told him that we are the life sciences capital of not just India, but we are by far the mo mo most important life sciences hub, one of the most important life sciences hubs in the world. Hyderabad manufactures, Hyderabad manufactures one third of human vaccines, 33% of human vaccines. 9 billion doses of vaccines are produced from Hyderabad every year. By next year, it will be 14 billion doses. The reason why I'm mentioning is, is because your board is here. They need to know. The next time one of your children is getting a vaccine shot, or one of your employees is getting a vaccine shot, there's one in a three chance could have been made in Hyderabad. We not only produce the largest number of vaccines in the world, we also produce 40% of India's pharmaceuticals. We also have the largest number of US FDA approved manufacturing facilities for any province in the world. We have the largest number, the second largest is New Jersey in the US. We have 214 US FDA approved manufacturing facilities. That number keeps growing, it's a dynamic number. New Jersey has 189. So one of the things I request Capital Land also to look at is investing in life sciences sector. Because now lab spaces, which is what are required, you know, in terms of a plug-and-play infrastructure for life sciences companies, are a, are, a, are a huge draw, and I would urge you to consider looking at it. Manufacturing is important. As the world starts looking at the geopolitical situation, too much reliance on China, I think we are seeing increased interest in manufacturing in India. And one of the other things that could be of great interest to you, Mano, is, and your team is, the possibility of setting up industrial warehouses, plug-and-play infrastructure for manufacturing companies. And that is again a great asset and a great investment for a company like Capital Land to look at. These are the two areas I would urge you to look at. What makes Hyderabad exciting? What makes Hyderabad very, very interesting and very, very attractive is not just the physical infrastructure. Hyderabad has got abundance of talent. The other day I was inaugurating uh, a lab in Genome Valley, a new a company called Chemo. Uh, which is a Spanish company. I was inaugurating their lab. 
So there was this gentleman who's actually uh, the CEO of the company. He's a, uh, he's a Spaniard. So he was there, we were talking, and I just asked him a very, very harmless, innocuous question. I said, uh, so Lucas, are you investing in my state, in my city, in my country because of the labor arbitrage? Are you looking at this from a cost perspective? He said, no. It only costs 25% lesser for me. Of course, that's, it. that's interesting. But he said, you're looking at this lab. If I have to fill the same lab in Spain, it'll take me a year. But if I have to fill the same lab in India, I can do that in two months. It's not just the talent. It's the abundance of talent. It's the availability of talented manpower that makes Hyderabad, Telangana, and India very, very attractive. So my request to you, Mano, uh, we have so many things to work on. We have great manufacturing opportunity as the world starts speaking about China plus one or moving away from China kind of a strategy. We also have huge opportunities in life sciences, in logistics, in industrial manufacturing, and the list goes on, data centers and everything else, of course. Right across the road, if you look at, you'd see the world's second largest campus of Novartis. That's the building away. Now, the reason why I mention Novartis is because they have 9,000 people working out of this building, which is right across the road. But out of these 9,000, only 400 actually work inside of a lab. The remaining 8,600 plus are working on computers, are basically working on simulations, are working on the digital intersection between technology and biology. That's what makes Hyderabad exciting. That's what makes India exciting. So my request to you, make this your hub in India. Do not look at Chennai, Bangalore, or you know, Bombay and other. We all make mistakes in life, I know. You know, you've made the mistake of investing in other places. But make this your hub. Have a little, small little centers elsewhere in the country. But make this your one-stop shop. I assure you of full support. And as Gauri said, we work like a startup. We think like a startup. We are with you for the long haul. We believe in collaboration. We believe in partnership. I know that your entire board is here. So therefore, I have extend, uh, you know, kind of, uh, 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 I went beyond my brief to also make a pitch to them so that you don't have to do the hard sell the next time you're in the board. So thank you guys for visiting. I hope you enjoy Hyderabad. It's a beautiful city. It has got history, culture, heritage. There's plenty of shopping also to do, Jessica. And Jessica is the Deputy Speaker of Singapore Parliament, so I think she... Uh, please welcome her with a round of applause. She's also on the board. So I was just telling Jessica that uh, Indian Parliament is debating the Women's Reservation Bill, which we, of course, welcome wholeheartedly, and we want to see more and more women leaders. And if I have to lose my seat for that, so be it. But the fact is... No, I, that's all right. That's all right. We all have a limited shelf life, which is fine. I think I've done my thing. But the thing is, Women's Reservation Bill, I think, uh, is an important milestone, and I'm glad you're in India witnessing it. So thank you again to the entire team of Capital Land for, for, for joining us, and uh, onwards and upwards. Thank you.